What is going on everybody? Welcome back to a new series. Yes, I know we're going back to three. Hopefully it doesn't doesn't get away from us. Also, I'm gonna be on holiday really soon. I don't actually know when this video goes out, so I might already go on. There's either gonna be five 45 minute videos and they'll just be every other day, or there will be ten half an hour ones. There won't be an in-between. It's gonna be close, like I'll be cutting it fine. So I say there's no in-between. If it goes wrong and I've done eight 30 minute ones, then you know there's <laughs> there is that, I guess. But hopefully it will just be 10 30 minute ones while I'm gone. You won't even notice, except I might take a bit longer to respond to comments. And then I will be back and hopefully we can try up it to 45 minutes a day because I won't be as, under as much pressure to get ahead. It will just be on the day. Make that episode. And that should be pretty good. And whether it stays at 45 minutes to one day or 25 minutes twice a day, if that makes it, or 22 and a half, whatever. But we're playing Arts Fine 4, we're playing as Italy. The mods that are on are the Road to 56 and the Coloured Buttons mod, so not so important, but it, it, it just remembered anyway. I was like, there's definitely two. What was the other one? <laughs> um, Chaos AI is currently not updated. I assume there's been an update recently or something. I haven't played Hearts of Iron 4 in like six months, so that would make sense. What else? What is the other? There's a new button up here I've never seen before. Fuel. That looks uh, interesting. Factories is still a thing. Okay, well, we're going to be learning. We're playing as Italy, haven't actually played as them properly, apart from when I tried the uh, demo and had no idea how to, not the demo, the, the intro to the game, and I had no idea how to get my troops home from Africa, because, you know, I'm very good at these games, obviously, so I had no idea how to do that. But yeah, we're playing as Italy, the only other sort of major nations I've never done is Britain and Japan and their islands, and like I said, boats and me, not good, <laughs> I'll figure it out in the next, in the gap in between the episodes, don't worry. We're going to play as Italy. We are on not regular difficulty, but not civilian. We are on recruit, and there's a reason for that. One, I'm bad at the game. But two, I'm going to try and go on a little bit of a tangent here. And instead of just doing what Germany wants, we're going to try and go down our own faction route if we can. Maybe try and retake something of a new Roman Empire. It won't be perfect, because I just came up with this idea on the spot and haven't really looked at what the Roman Empire consisted of. But we'll try something in this series a little bit more unique to Italy. Basically I wanted to do something unique, but I wanted it to be with a medium strength country and I couldn't pick one. I was like flickering around, I was like Iran, maybe South Africa, and in the end I was just like, you know what, let's go Italy and do it with them instead. Also that's gonna leave Germany. We'll probably still end up like on Germany's side, but not on Germany's team, if that makes sense. But we'll probably still end up alongside them, I imagine, when things get going. But yeah, a lot of the other mods currently not working, so that was one of the things. But I haven't played in a while, so I'm kind of excited just to hop into Hoi 4 again. That's going to be exciting. I've never played as Italy as well, so this is going to be quite interesting. So, quite a big tree. Expand the IRR. Okay, so prepare economy for war. It is the 1936 start. Restructure the divisions. Okay, and then league, leave the League of Nations or d d disillusion of fascism. Effect coming soon. Uh, either we can't go for that, or maybe that's not available, maybe that's something new with the mod, which makes sense. There is a lot of things. Expand O and D, so I just want to see where we sort of need to go. I don't want to make any mistakes early on. Militarize the Rome Protocol. That sounds like something we need to go to. This sounds like what we need. Complete the Latin Alliance. Okay, that seems pretty cool. Yeah, maybe some, maybe, I think this is where we need to go. Join Austrian Guarantee. Demand Dalmatia, prevent spread of communism. Okay, so I think we can... Oh no, these are mutually excuse, exclusive. So I think we'll be going for the stab in the back. Revive... Wait, what was that other thing? Oh, the, wait, what? Where was the Leave the League of Nations thing? Where'd that go? Oh, that was at the very top. Okay. Well, there's a lot of cool things. I don't even know where to start. We should probably start with something basic. What does this do? Plus 25 army experience. Restruct, uh, mobilization, daily command power gain, maximum command power. What is command power? That is different to political power, so there you go. Learn new things every day. That sounds pretty important. Um, what else can we get? Expand hydroelectric. That's pretty good. So this will give us 100% research bonus for industry, add a building and a civilian slot. This will add building slots in Africa. This will help towards planes, and this helps towards boats, I would assume. <laughs> that does make sense. 
Is there not really a military strength one? Oh, that's this one here. Okay, I didn't really see that. There are so many things, to be honest, to pick. Study of the Spanish Civil War. Okay. But yeah, let's start with restructure the division. No, that's not the one. I wanted this one. See, I'm getting confused already. Let's start with that one. Build up our infrastructure. Research. Obviously go for the basic stuff that we want. We always want to have a land doctrine going. It looks like grand battle plan has already been decided. So we'll go for this one. Okay, and then obviously there's this extra stuff, not that it is, I think we're going to go for it too early, we'll want to get basic machine tools, we want to go for electronic mechanical engineering, and one more thing, uh, maybe a boat doctrine, but I think we should just grab this quickly, support stuff, keep the basic infantry stuff up for grabs, I never know what to do with my factories, I tend to just build military factories, and I never know if that's right, so I'm just going to smack down a few. I'm going to kind of do them within Italy, actually, just in case we get invaded. <laughs> like we're more likely to lose the land in the north when it all goes wrong, aren't we? So think about it that way. We have one more factory to produce stuff here. Um, Say more tanks, but I guess for now, just get more infantry guns. Dockyards, more boats. One, two, three. Obviously, as you know, I normally just end up focusing on industry. Probably not bright. We can build a sort of tank division here. I don't know how good that is. There's a lot of horses in it. Oh, it's actually cavalry with sort of a few mini tanks to help. So we'll, we'll try and make some actual tank ones later on. But let's start for now with a military one. Um, and we'll we'll have those come into Rome. I won't lose them. If we go for... Oh, maybe we don't have enough equipment. Let's go for one at a time for now. It's early on. In the game, unassigned divisions. Let's just... Get all of the, let's just get all the notifications cleaned up. Always the best way. Ooh, how do you do this? I might select armies before. I did select my armies. I don't know what's going on there. There we go. What? Why, why did it not want me to pick that guy? I have no idea. Okay, you guys can form a different one. You can join the blue one. There we go. I think that is all the armies sort of. Oh no, there's a couple of dudes down here. Uh... Yeah, and I assume there's plenty more all spread out around the map in sort of colonies. Where is this trying to show me? Oh, there we go. So yeah, here we have like our Ethiopian, Eritrea. No, is this Eritrea? No, that's Eritrea. Italian Somaliland. I've, I've been watching a World War II documentary. That's literally the only reason Hoi falls back, to be honest. <laughs> that's literally it. Oh, we have more troops up here. I I don't get it. It tells me, I, it tells me you do. They're actually miles away. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to find a way to identify. I'm going to probably use a colour scheme. I might use it so Europe is like blue. I've tried it before. I've just had different colours for each army. But I think I might have more of a one based on all the European armies being blue. Something like that. And then all of the armies in Africa can be pink or something. I don't know. Or North Africa. And just like the different fronts. Have it more focused. Air wings with no missions. I mean, it's 1936. I don't think they need missions right now. I might be wrong. But I think we can be good to hit play, get the speed up, try five. I can't remember what I used to play Hoi 4 on, and see what happens. See how it goes. 760 manpower, that's not a lot. Hopefully we get a little bit more through the national focus tree, or it could end pretty badly for us. Power change, we're getting 1.86 per day, that's very nice. Hopefully we can maybe get some stuff going see what happens across Europe I've not played this in quite a while so I'm quite excited so a daily gain of oh yeah I want to look at what resources we have I want to pay more attention to some things in games I, I definitely don't pay much attention to no not research how do I see is there a resources map mode infrastructure map mode that sounds pretty cool oh that is cool okay so it's like sort of light green where it's better um, that isn't really what I was looking for though factions who exists so far. So yeah, the Allies, Axis, and Common Turn, as usual. I wasn't sure if they all were there from the beginning, but they are. This is resource map mode, so all our resources seem to be coming... Oh, okay, no, this does show it. So we have a bit of oil, we have some aluminium and some steel. We have lots in the north, actually, which we can trade. So that's good. I think we need resistance. That's new. I haven't... Actually, I... I don't think it's new. I think the map mode for it might be new. This thing is definitely new. Open window with all possible map modes. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ideology map mode. Oh, oh, this is pretty sweet. Nice. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Um, 
I think all the resources things could have been... Could we have seen them anyway? No. Okay, I wasn't sure. Either way, that's all good. Right, logistics. Yeah, well, so we need to get some factories going first. That's what we're going to try and you try and get the industry going through that focus tree before we get too much underway. War propaganda against Ethiopia. Probably a bit early for that. I'm tempted just to pull my troops out. Just, you know, say, you know what, leave Ethiopia. Let's... Let, let's go a different path, but let's let's not do anything too rash. I'll keep them there for now. It's fine. I'm sure, just because our army seems small right now, I'm sure it will get bigger as time goes on. But we'll see. We'll see how that all, all works out. Insufficient resources need rubber and chromium. Okay, well, maybe let's start trading for them. If we can, three. Uh, okay. I can never remember how to do it. So Dutch East Indies. Let's pick someone who probably we do want to trade with. Like who's not going to stop. Or we're not going to end up at war with. Liberia probably no. Siam, British Raj. Is that like Japan or anyone? No. Okay so never mind. Let's just go with the Dutch East Indies. Just because they have a lot. The thing is one civilian factory for three rubber. I don't know how. Probably want more. Actually you know. That would probably be worth it in the long run. Same chromium. I feel like that's expensive. I, I don't know. Turkey has a lot. They're pretty close. We can start with them. No, we can get eight for one. There we go. So that means we have enough for every every unit right now. Although it did cost us two of our 21 factories. So that's not good. Or no, I think two of our 19 in use. I think. Maybe. But there we go. Bringing, keeping the resources up. Keeping it all flowing. I'll take that as a good start. But let's just see what everyone else is up to. Rhineland. That seems pretty quick, just right off the bat, <laughs> straight away. Limited rearmament, tools, modernization. I don't know, I just like to look around. Great purge. Okay, I feel like these things are very, they've all been opted for very quickly. If I sell them, continue the new deal. I even know what that is. Probably a bad thing. Exile. Can I see all of them? Normally, I swear you don't usually get to see everything. Or maybe it's just Italy are really good at seeing things. I don't know. Seems like I can see it. Oh no, sometimes you can't see the details of what they are. That's the issue. You can always see the name. Okay, that makes sense. Never mind. Fixing that issue. Modify government. Do we want to add an advisor already? I feel like it's a bit early for that. Although some of these are actually pretty good. So maybe we'll look for one. We can't actually afford any though. Um, fascist demagogue. <laughs> maybe we should just go for the other ones. I feel like Mussolini is going to be pretty good at keeping it. We're going to keep it fascist. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I have to start again? No, okay. We're only 15 days in? We're three months in. Did I ruin... Have I broken this already? Have I screwed us over already? How are we only 15 days in? It's been three months. Oh no. I think I just... Messed that one right up. Sorry guys. Big apologies for that one. Remilitarization of the Rhineland. Well, that didn't take long. All right, free military factory. I don't know if we built this or the planes just stopped being needed. We mainly need guns at the moment, so we'll, we'll invest it straight into that. And yeah, the boats. I imagine that's just the other boats finishing. Whoa, this is weird. Oh, you can name them. That's pretty cool. Well, I don't know if you can name them. Increase amount of ships left to produce. Oh, no. Did not mean to do that. There we go. Stick one over there. Oh, sure. And we're out of units. We need 73 steel. Well, that's not going to happen, is it? That's all our, all our resources just disappearing again. Never mind. Okay, saying we can do something here. I don't really know what, though. They're all... Okay, now we can. War industrialist. We can't com pick him. Compassionate gentleman. Improve relations up. Backroom backstabber. Back, backroom backstabber. 5% political power. Ideology drift difference. Quartermaster general. Gives construction speed to those things same ideology monthly opinion trade deal opinion factor plus 10 percent silent workhorse prince of terror what do you do non-core manpower okay proper gap war support plus 10 percent um i don't even know i think i'm gonna go with the where was i want the production dude but obviously he is we can't get him yet so i'll leave a space for him and get the silent workhorse. I think that extra 
15% political power would be very nice, especially after I already screwed up the first national focus, making it a little bit more difficult for ourselves. But that's fine. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So yeah, I guess maybe our main fronts can try and... Just try, obviously, we'll probably get dragged in with France, I guess. But if we could avoid that, then that would be nice. Um, try go after, like, Yugoslavia, Albania, Greece. I don't know. Maybe we could take over the Balkans pretty easily. I don't know. I r severely doubt that. But I can hope, right? Let's research radio, get that done, that's going to give us an improved reinforcement rate, not too useful this early in the game. We're about to finish these other things too, and I will start researching those. The two, oh, they're, they're quite far in the future, let's go over here. So, yep, we can do this, I've got a sneeze coming, not good. <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> there we go, it's done. Construction, always a good one to go for, get that as quick as possible. Dispersed or concentrated industry? Obviously, concentrated is just a bit of a worry. What's it going to do, actually? Let's look. Max factories plus 20%. Factory output up 15%. Dockyards up 10%. That's pretty good. Dispersed. Max factories in a state goes up 20%. Production efficiency retention. I don't even know what that is. Up 10% and base up 5%. That sounds pretty good, though. Factory output and dockyard output up 10%. Factory bomb vulnerability. I don't know if anyone's going to be heavily bombing us that we're going to try and go to war with, but I can't obviously guarantee that. Conversion speed bonus up 20% too. I'm going to go... I might, I'm tempted to go disperse, but we don't have that much land. Like I feel like if you were the Soviet Union or even Germany, that would make sense. But we have not a huge amount of territory. Like Italy is not that big, all things considered. This might be a good idea to go for as much as possible. There's already 1% world tension. Oh, wait. I'm dumb. You guys are probably all laughing at me right now. Apparently we've been at war with Ethiopia since the start. Where? <laughs> okay. Didn't know that one. Um. <laughs> that is... That's quite funny. Um. Oh wow. I've really messed this one up. Is that really? Are we really at war? Seriously? It's not gonna... Damn, George. No, I don't want to promote this dude. Wait, what does promoting him do? No, I just want him to go over there so that I can give the good one over here because I couldn't find how to unattach him. What color? These are the pink army. Okay. Right. Now we can draw up some plans. That's at least a start. I was not even remotely aware. Nope, this is not the army I clicked on. But okay, game. Front line. There we go. Who would have thought... <laughs> Who would have thought <laughs> that is that's hilarious though I didn't even notice. Oh wow. <laughs> that could have ended so badly. Um but there we go, we have noticed now, so that that's something I guess. It's better than better than nothing. There we go, let's add that to that list. Okay, everything's up, needed for upgrades. You serious? Oh we finally finish our national focus. Took a while. So increase marble exportation. What's this good? Add two building slots and two civilian factories. Okay, both of these do the same. I'm going to go for both. Let's go for the hydroelectricity first. I'm going to go for both. Let's just heavy focus on infrastructure. To begin the game, try and keep Italy in there. Because I think that's something maybe they would lack when we're going on our own. Like Obviously, normally you'd have maybe Germany to focus on and help you out a little bit. I feel like we're going to lack that. It says that army is more than capable of doing that. And I think this one, when the general gets here, will be more more than capable sort of fighting through the other direction. And I do Sababa should be ours. And obviously, I feel bad for Ethiopia. Obviously, on this easier difficulty that we have decided to play this game on, at least, I think it should be a little bit easy to uh to take on Ethiopia. Now, nope, my troops are not going to move. Okay, well that's fine. They can stand in Rome for now. I think it's because none of them have plans particularly. But they might not be moving. Okay, need to remember to save a spot for him. I'm still considering this fascist demagogue, but again, 75%. I think we'll be fine. And I think you can always replace them. Yeah, you can always switch them out. So if it got like but really bad, we could. Um, click to add. I don't know why these ones are highlighted so much more. Is there a reason? Nope, now that one is. I don't know. Maybe it's just recommending them. Global order, lessons of history. Some of these are good to go for, actually. National characters. Chief of Army. Is there one that just makes it much quicker? No. Okay. 
Just think tank designer, ship designer, material, industrial concerns. What does this do? Industrial research speed up, industrial research speed up, and factory construction speeds up. So, yeah, but it's slower research. Okay. Same research. Okay, these two are the same, right? Oh, no, there's, they're more focused on civilian. Okay. These guys are all equal. 10, 10, 10. I think these guys are 10, 10, 10, too. So I don't know what the different. I don't think there is a difference between them, except uh, I guess if you like the logos, electronics, electronics, Pirelli, synthetic resources. Just I assume loads of tires. <laughs> Makes sense for all those Ferraris and Lamborghinis we're going to be driving in Italy. Diplomatic incident. In a speech to the League of Nations by Haile Selassie, Emperor of Ethiopia, taking offence at our invasion, make fun of the emperor. Mm. In reaction to what he considered to be foolishness, Nicole Titulescu, Romanian diplomat, replied by asking for the departure of these galaxies for who's all the savages. Oh, okay, well, that is pretty savage, not going to lie. Right, so I get the best that we get. 15%, 5%. That's converged. No, it is construction speed. 10, 10, 10. ten. Am I missing something? There is no difference between these two. I'll just check. So between these three... But these are obviously the same. Research all the way. I'm going to ignore that one. I think we do want this construction speed. It's whether we want civilian factory 15% military fire. I think we may as well go for one of these. Let's go for the top one. That is a good investment of our political power. Hopefully we can finish building these boats. I don't really know. We may as well. Oh, you can repair stuff. Uh, we should probably build some convoys just constantly. Because I'm probably not going to be very good at defending them. Many of them will probably be destroyed. At some point, apologies to the people on those boats already. We still have lots of fuel. It's definitely decreased, but we are making f more fuel. We're using none per day at the moment, because we have not even begun our invasion. It seems like we're ready to go. I just want to check if we have any aeroplanes in the region. Uh, we do. So I, I'm terrible at this. I'm very sorry for what you're about to witness. This is why we need it on a... Oh, these ones were already made. Okay, I see. So how do I... I never understand this game. How on a... Click to attach selected air wings. Oh. That's pretty cool. Can I select all of them? No. Okay, so how do I do their mission? Oh, the missions are at the top. Air superiority. So this is a fighter wing. Medium bomber, dive bomber, dive bomber. Okay, so I don't really know what's best for what. Medium bombers, I guess, should do strategic bombing. Does that, like, send them out now into Ethiopia? Yes. Oh, wait. I, I don't know. Maybe they're all going. Maybe none of them are going. Let's just... Let's just go. Hope for the best. <laughs> I assume... I don't see any planes, but... I thought maybe we'd see them flying around. But these guys are ready to go, so I think it's time we begin and see how it... How it all works out for us. <laughs> What's your plan? So they're just going to stage by stage, and these guys, sort of similar thing, yeah. Okay, that's good. We're off to a good start already. <laughs> it's all green bubbles, That that's what I wanted to see. That means I can look away and hope that this, whoa, big dust cloud, oh, and it's gone. <laughs> Perks of speed 5. Okay, so they haven't finished the Great Purge yet, I don't know. Maybe, th maybe they misclicked too. <laughs> maybe we're not the only... Only, whoa, new French Prime Minister already. Leon Blum has taken charge. What happened there? France is guaranteeing the independence of Belgium. And Poland is guaranteeing France. So already some weird things going on right there. Not sure why exactly Poland feels the need to guarantee the independence of France. Research speed plus 6%. I will definitely take that as soon as possible. Where are we up to this nat national focus? We are very nearly done, so that's going to grant us some more factories. How are we doing with construction right now? Okay, there's still a few more in the queue, but I mean, we may as well go ahead and slap down some more. We'll see, I need to remember not to forget about the other things that we can build. Steel mill? Okay, I... Oh, Somaliland. Wait, why is our train damage? Our train tracks? Did they... Did we lose land? You guys losing already? This is easy difficulty. <laughs> Almost. Almost as easy as it can be, but not quite. Let's grab this one quickly. 
But yeah, we'll see what we'll see what happens. I'm excited. Excited to play Hoi 4 again. It may go horribly wrong, but isn't that all the fun? Isn't that the whole point of this channel? For things to go horribly wrong. <laughs> I think that that should be my like just we shouldn't call them let's plays. They should be called things go horribly wrong. We seem to have made some progress here. Just everywhere else. I mean it looks like Sometimes I feel like I could just be a much better leader. Just like walk in there, cut them off. Like in my mind, that seems obvious, but apparently not. I mean, the mountain's probably an issue, but still. And these dudes in the south, I don't know what they're up to. They're just not having a good time. Like, you're literally a tank. Can you not seriously not beat them? Okay, there we go. We did make some progress. We need to cut them off, actually. So that's a quite a good... Oh, and there we go. We killed them. Or push them back. See? Oh, nope, nope, nope. Encircled. Nope. Not how it's supposed to go. Just be aggressive. Just, there's four of you. Just, like, push in. Mainly because I don't want the encircled guys to die. I don't know whether they... I feel like they're strong enough for this not to matter. And they're actually going to be fine to hold everyone off. But if we lose them, that would be an embarrassing defeat. And I would look like an idiot for sending them over there. But so far, all the rescue missions have gone well. So I will take that as a positive. In fact, these missions, these dudes in the south are also making a lot of progress. And yeah, there we go, we did did manage to grab that tile back, so that's all good. I'll leave it up to the uh, generals now, they know what they're doing. Less than five years, oh, three years, two years, that was very quick. <laughs> that just, <laughs> three years worth of fuel gone in one day, cool, I don't know how that happened. Olympic Games have been ha held in Berlin. Deutsch Arbeitsstand. Don't know what that means. Decrease unemployment. The war helps with that, you know. Is that how you spell? I guess in French that is probably how you spell unemployment. I feel like there's an extra E in there. That shouldn't be in there. Never mind. Expansion of industry. Still great purging. Maybe he just has less political power. Air War Plans Division. That sounds scary. Leadership purges in the Soviet Union have occurred. Oh, our troops are about to meet, which is going to give us a much easier time, connect our supplies, etc. Because this is quite an attrition-y feel to it, this war. Lots of struggling. But yeah, it will be nice just to unite our front. That'll be make things hopefully a bit easier. Hopefully. George says this, this is when it all, all comes crashing down. <laughs> Probably. Okay, we can now pick someone else. Concentrated industry is done, as is construction. Oh, there is some more down here. Captain of in industry. Yes, we want that straight away. Infrastructure, construction speed, and civilian factories up 10%, and better refineries. Production. No, sorry, construction. Well, I, I want to do research, actually. Research. We're down here. This is boosted, but it is not 1937 just yet, so we will skip that. Excavation will get us some extra resources. Pretty good move, and that will finish everything we need to do down here. Although we can do this synthetic oil thing. But we do want to grab radio detection. That should work. Missing equipment production. Yeah, we'll ignore that. That is that is next episode's George's problem <laughs> to deal with. But for now, let's focus on our successful sort of conquests that I'm doing by myself. Seems to be working. We, we seem to have expanded a little bit. Maybe maybe we could just make an Ethiopian puppet. Maybe that way we we keep the pressure off us while we build up our secret army to conquer all of the world. That's the plan. The Italian dream, not the Italian job. Obviously, a little bit different. Increased marble exportations is done. Let's pick a new national focus. So we can prepare the economy for war. Which I think is the one we need to do. I I might be wrong. But I think that is the one that was necessary to pick that other political advisor that I did want. So that should probably be a smart move. There's a lot here. Maybe we should go with this. Restructure the divisions. Obviously we are at war so it would be useful. But for now bring industry to the Mezzogiorno. Or add two building slots. Prepare the economy for war. I mean doing it as early as possible we get the benefits for longer. Which is why I'm trying to focus that industry really early so we can really feel the benefits of it by the time sort of 1939 probably earlier although it can be later in Hoi 4 
That is the whole point of it, being alternate <laughs> history. We'll see how it happens. I don't know what's going on with this fuel. I think we're just having some bad days. And then... Oh, okay, we captured Addis Ababa? No. But we have united our front, which is going to make it a lot harder, I think, for Ethiopia to fight back. Make it a little bit easier for our troops to make some ground, which is nice. Sorry, Ethiopia. Like I said, I was considering letting you go, but I did not realise we were already at war. And I don't think you can wipe peace. Like... I know it happens occasionally, but I've never seen it with a human player involved happen. <laughs> but you can see, they head towards capitulation. Oh, and a Spanish civil war has broken out. That didn't take long. We have a lot more factories. We've had 6,000 losses. They have had 19,000. So I guess that's good news. And here we go. Nationalist Spain versus Republican Spain. And I think we want, obviously, Nationalist Spain to win. Who is it? Is that Franco? Oh, it's just new portraits, I guess, which is pretty cool. It seems like, wow, that's changing really quickly. Is he making a lot of really early progress? I mean, if he takes Madrid already, that would obviously be a pretty good start. Why, where's all our fuel going? I assume it's, and it's shot up again. Now it's more than five years, but red? I, I don't know. I guess the siege on Addis Ababa may be begun. Maybe that's what it was that sort of slowed it right down. But that's going to be it for episode one. Let me know what ideas you have for this series, what you'd like to see, and I will try my very best to make sure maybe they happen. <laughs> but do, if you've enjoyed, be sure to leave a like down below. Be sure to comment as well. Be sure to, leave, to uh, subscribe. That would be awesome as well. And if you want to turn on that notification button, it's up to you. <laughs> I upload at the same time every day, so whether you need it or not, I don't know if it would be that useful. But you can, so why not? <laughs> That's my pitch. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.